What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Morg's Brew. It's that time of the season again. Lockdown is back on upon us. Alcohol ban is back in action. On today's episode, we're going to be putting together a no-nonsense recipe for pineapple beer. I'm out here. We're going to pick ourselves a nice pineapple. We're going to head back inside. We're going to chop this up. I'm going to show you how we do it so you can copy me and make this for yourself at home. Ingredients you're going to need to make your own pineapple beer at home are sugar, ginger, Earl Grey tea, pineapples, treacle sugar, and a lime. So first, we've got to weigh out our sugar. 2.2 kgs of white sugar. Then we chop up our pineapple and our ginger. Need about two thumbs of ginger, the juice of one lime. Twenty grams of your yeast. This could be in the form of an instant yeast or a an instant bread yeast or a high super foam brewer's yeast. Either one of these two is gonna to work. Today I'm gonna to use this one. Otherwise, use two of these. Going to add in our treacle sugar. 200 grams of that. My dad used to call this ant sugar. It kept on moving after it was added. Like ants. Earl Grey tea. Two, four, six bags of tea. As you can see, we've got this pot cool it's full as so we're gonna take this across to the kitchen we're gonna fill this up with water bring this to boil put it there for 30 minutes and flip it into our buckets so although this is a recipe you need to cook up you're gonna need some kind of specialized equipment a bucket highly specialized I'm sure you can get this at any of the builders in the country what I've done with mine is I've added a breather tube it comes out the top and it's just a piece of pipe that I put a hole through the lid so that when I close this up and I seal it, the air comes out the pipe. If you don't have the time to do this or can't do this, you just crack the lid a little bit as it goes. For the sterilization, another important step in this, you want to make sure that your bucket is clean. So you want to have it sterile when you work. I use a bit of sodium hypochlorite. It's just standard concentrated bleach. And you realistically, you're just going to need a couple of capfuls. We had three capfuls here. And then we're going to fill it up with some water. Now when you're adding the water, you want to try and make sure that you don't get all bubbly because those bubbles are going to take out the chlorine. Close it up and leave it just outside in the sun for half an hour while your pot boils. And that should be sufficient sterilization. Because the yeast is a living organism, we've got to get this temperature within a range that it can survive and thrive and make you enough alcohol poo to get tinky tonky on. <laughs> so you want to be in a range of around 27 to 33, 34 degrees, but anything below 40 is really going to work. If you don't have a thermometer like this, it's going to tell you your exact temperature. Just make sure you wait until it's cold and then you know for sure your yeast is at the right temperature. It's going to take seven days anyway, so it's got enough time to make it work. So now we add in our yeast. 20 grams. Roar it in here nicely. Try to get a little bit of extra air in here to kickstart that yeast process. Now we close it up. Leave it for seven days, let the yeast do its thing. Take all, any old empty jar, fill up with water. This is gonna be your airlock. Done.
Well, that brings us to the end of another brew, you guys. Thank you for joining us. If you're still here at the end of that, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That was my lockdown pineapple beer recipe. I've been enjoying it. This is the result. I promise you it's worth it. Go home, sit down, copy what I did. This is a good recipe. Make sure you give it enough time in stage one. Watch my other videos to find out all the do's and don'ts about this beer and how to get there. This is the recipe. Take this first stage for seven to nine days, sitting there in the bucket before you bottle it out into plastic bottles. Ride the wave, guys. This is gonna be rough. One in, one out. Keep your bottles coming. Keep your tubs turning. Keep your buckets brewing, bro. And let's stick it to the government. Together we're better. I can't sell you this beer. You can't buy it from me, but I can teach you how to make it and you can become independent.